Welcome back, everyone. Drake Hawkins with again for some more buoyancy, and we are loading up here again. Uh, it tells us that our villagers will love us if we are if we give them motors. I think I agree. I don't know if they love us. It says they will thank you, but you know they might. They probably will just stop jumping into catapults to avoid the uh, life on the boat. But you know that's the thing. Uh, where are we at? We have uh, expanded a little more. The blob continues. The not at all. The the intrepid voyages of the not at all. Uh, what? What? We just reached 100 population. We did that already last time. Why did it say that again? Maybe we dipped down somehow? Nobody's playing with the catapult again, maybe? I don't know. Uh, that is some junk. This is some driftwood. Let's go grab the driftwood. And uh, I think right about there should park us nicely. And I'm going to build a few more of these lovely connectors here. Uh, uh, oh, I missed. Man. Okay. We have a, we do have a lot of a lot less jobs uh, on the queue than we had before, so that's good. That's something. Uh, are the motors on? A oh, one motor is on, right? I actually kind of want it off. I know they just mentioned it in the chat that we would probably be good to have it on, but I don't know. I need more water. Did we get the water going? We're gurgling out some more uh, fresh water here regularly. That's good. Can we fit one more in there? Oh, we can. Ba-boom! Curse splash. Uh, deep diver. Oh, I forgot. The deep divers are now inside. I think they're fine. I mean... They just dive right down in the middle. <laughs> he just jumps right in. That's fantastic. Oh, and he climbed out. That was very, very quick for a deep dive. The icon, the the graphic. He just jumps right in, and it's just it's just his pool. He just plays around. Uh, that's done. Let's bring the boat back around this way. And uh, I think this is the sal salvagers, scavengers. Let's not run into it though. Come on. Look at that. Fine, fine ship handling Oh, I lied. <laughs> fine ship handling skills. Crash. Instantly. Didn't even finish the sentence and I already had the boat smacked around. That's amazing. Dude, dude, dude. It's, it's seasickness all over again. It's much easier to maneuver when you're going nice slow rowing speeds. Uh, how are we doing on materials? <clears throat> 100 wood, not a lot. We're right out of metal. Why is that? Why are we using up the metal so fast? Oh, it's the ammo. It takes 10 per ammo. Ooh. And how many for these harpoons? Oh, that's the water cannon, not the harpoons. Where's the harpoon cannon? The towers. Uh, ammo is harpoons, and they take 10 metal apiece. Wow, okay, so our, our, uh, our turrets are definitely chewing through the supplies. Okay, that's empty. 104 people. Well, we're right here. We might as well get these guys, too. Why not? What else we got off in the distance? Uh, Under Peak, School of Fish, Destroyed Ship, and Crude Oil. Let's go for that one. I'm not sure what else we have to do. Like, I think we ought to start going, getting ourselves into some fights. I think that's what we have to do. I don't quite know if I clicked properly on rescuing them or if we just ate them. I'm not really certain. No, we had four... Uh, okay, four people joined. We didn't eat anybody this time. That's good. Ah, the music is so peaceful. How's our food supply going? We got lots of flour, but we don't have a ton of bread. Maybe we should get another baker going? Or is it a water shortage? I feel like maybe it's a water shortage. We got the, the water cannon, which apparently has 49 of 40 ammo. Mm, not quite certain how that's math is working for us, but I guess the game knows. Oh, pardon me. That was the hardest thing to do in a long time. Whew. Never try to hold in your sneeze. Bop some brain cells. <clears throat> that was... An Ooh, a whale. Oh, we want the whale. Mm -hmm. Sorry, derelict ship. We're not going for you. We're going back that way. As soon as this uh, pile is finished up... <clears throat> wow, I just really, really, really sneezed super hard and didn't ha don't have a mute button so I just had to hold it. <laughs> that's uncomfortable I'll tell you that much very uncomfortable 
Uh, let's move the boat. You try to keep them all operating but while we spin the boat. The boat. The not at all. I love it. It's, I love the name of this thing. I'm going to name all of my ships this. In all future games with ships, I think it's got to be the not at all. I don't know. I, maybe I think it's more witty and fun than most people do. Uh, school of fish and a destroyed ship. This one's going to give us some scrap metals and fishes. Uh, man, we are just run through the woods so fast. We only have 20 fuel right now. That's why we're paddling. <clears throat> I feel like, I don't know, do we need like more harvesters or what's the deal here? Maybe we need, ooh, level four, max level. Ooh, Elvis is maxed out. Oh, Elvis is back in the building, folks. He, uh, he's, he's going to super defend us, but, oh, that's not a whale. That's a dead whale. We don't want that whale. That would make us dead people. Toxic crap in the water. Stop, 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 halt, halt. Oh, you bashed into the boat, Drake. What kind of seamanship is this? The kind that you can really pronounce well. <clears throat> I love the just the art design in this game. I think it's very witty. Everybody, like the, the nice fancy buildings, like here's... Here's our fanciest, most important building right here. The galley. It's a bunch of scrap metal planks and, like, corrugated metal to hold it together. It's fantastic. Uh, we just got to finish the destroyed ship, then we can bump across it. I do not want to uh, sail over that whale, because that is not... Oh, noisy upstairs. That is not a... Um, not your standard whale right there. Oh, that's the harpooners. I'm moving in that direction. Stop it, please. Stop it. None of that now. Let's go over this way. Uh, the fisher and the forager. We're going to leave that, whatever that was. We're, oh, wait. That's a school of fish. What was this one? I just saw another circle there. But, oh, no. I keep bumping over the junk cannon and thinking that that's what's going on. It is not. More survivors. I feel like 100 people is doing us just fine. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, this way, please. I don't know what there's... I, I have no idea what end game is here, so... Where it's at at this point, I have no clue. Do, 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 do. It's a fun game. I don't know how much depth it's got right now. I feel like we're kind of... We're kind of getting to the end of it. There's no new text. There's no... I guess there's policies and government coming soon, so there's lots more to come to the game. But, oh, technology coming soon. Okay. I see. So this is just really early access where we just kind of get a, a a tidbit of everything to feel what, what the thing is supposed to be like. Okay. That makes sense. It, di it did feel a little uh, freebie on the startup. Like we just went from nothing to everything. <clears throat> but that would be uh, the tech tree concept. The, the no tech tree concept. Not that any of these things are really technologies that we would need to research right like I know everybody thinks that humanity could fall back to the stone age which I just have to say I don't agree <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm nowhere near one of the smarter people on the planet and I could figure out most of the things that uh, are you know post iron age <laughs> just just by process of elimination and knowing that they exist the ideas of having the ideas of things is kind of important and that's what kind of leads to knowledge growth and in reality most I think most technologies basic technologies are build more storehouses uh, most basic technologies are pretty uh, straightforward so we got too much fish what how is that possible it's all supposed to be stored in the galley it is mm-hmm Hmm. Legit need another. Oh, legit need another storage house. That is weird. Uh, okay. It's a guard house. <clears throat> I guess we could put a storehouse on either side here. Where's my fancy light post? There. That's the direction. 
Okay, stop. Stop, you beautiful not at all. And another storehouse there. Where's the light? Where's the fancy light? I don't remember which way it was. There it is. This way. It's a this way, yeah. Huh? This is not working at all. Aha! And there. Not enough resources. Confounded fool things. Uh, is that driftwood? Driftwood, driftwood. Yeah, the resource balance seems to be not ideal. All right, we have one smelter. He just doesn't seem to want to keep up. Like he's running 100% efficiency, but we're constantly running out of wood, so we don't have him running perpetually. So yeah, we get a lot of scrap metal. Although the world is random gen, so um, like I've I've done a number of different uh, starts, like four or five different starts over the total time that I played, and honestly, I think I probably hit one or two that had similar starts, and that's about it. It just it just seems like everything is uh, very random. So how you start out is going to be a big difference. I started one. I uh, was going to record. And uh, the first 15 minutes was just looking around for a, our first resources to pick up with a, with a collector. It was just driftwood everywhere, drift, drifting resources everywhere. Nothing, no schools, of no survivors, just weird. So, an underwater peak and a school of fish. 75 uh, dirt at the moment. We could, uh, we could definitely water world this up if we found some traders. Although maybe they would just try to burn us at the stake for behavior. So, you know, there's that. School of Fish and Underwater Peak. Let's grab those while we are here. We're going to we're gonna try to swing by in a way that we clip this and then get these guys centered kind of on the greenhouses over top of that. <clears throat> uh, wood. Nice. Wood washed up on the motor. That's probably not good for the motor. I'm just gonna guess. Having driftwood jamming into our uh, our paddle wheel princesses here, I'm sure it's probably not gonna be good for it. I'd like to see one thing. I'd like to see is a better interaction with the resources with these things. Like I, the little sparkly light around is good, but when they're under your base, it can be really hard to check them. Like there, that worked. But I move over and it's like there, and then it's not. Then like the See, I'm, I'm physically, my mouse is covering the uh, resource, but my mouse is not showing me, like, I can't click on it. See? And then sometimes you can. It's just, it's weird. The hitbox on it is a little bizarre to me. Uh, we didn't actually, not actually collecting any of the fish. That is awkward. One, two, and come on. You can do it. Three. Come on. Come on. Little fishes. Really? Really, dude? There you go. Stay in there. Okay, good. <clears throat> I might have built these a little too spacious or been like having five guys collecting from this one place seems to me to be pretty efficient. I don't know if you could make them in a way if somebody's got a <clears throat> Oh, Isaiah has died from dysentery. That's unfortunate and messy. Um hey, you could probably maybe maybe let me know in the comments if you have any ideas or links to or you know, maybe not links, they don't work so good on YouTube, but uh, descriptions of how you would lay out your um, your resource gatherers. There's got to be a way, maybe a, I'm thinking maybe like a big U-shaped base might be good, but then there's a lot of movement around. Could you have it like an actual atoll, an actual circle with the stuff in the middle for the collectors and maybe on the outside be your... Uh, be your resources and all the rest of it. <clears throat> Thinking that if you then center, you just drive your boat, drive, sail, paddle your boat over the resource. This, for instance, if this if this square right here of, of bridges is open in the middle, then we circle it with resource gatherers. Then all we have to do is for whatever it is, we just circle over that. The only problem is with that is the bro broken ships. <clears throat> they don't work so good. The fish part's gone of this thing, I think, yeah? Yeah, 30% on the 
peak. Can we finish that up, guys? Oh, there. Let's go to fast mode. That'd be good. <clears throat> Population's at 90% happiness. They seem to be happy floating on the ocean, eating their beer, and getting catapulted into the stratosphere. It's unfortunate for whoever that was, but nine metal washed up. There's a bit of junk. Let's just sail backwards, because we can. You know what? Let's not sail backwards. We have the front of this vessel, so let's sail that way and turn it around. The lumbering... Oh, we have 380. Ooh, we have 383 fuel. All right. All right, baby. Here we go. Bring it on. Toot toot. Woof. I don't know that we need the 40 rowers. Thank you. Yeah. Look at the waves we're making now. Catch me if you can, Storm. <laughs> Let's sail off into the sunset and see what we can find. I'm not seeing any resources out here. This is bizarre. Oh, there's something. What is this? It is a kelp and school of... Oh, it moves quick. Yeehaw! Getting it to actually stop when you want it to. <laughs> Look how fast he goes. Oh my goodness, it surges rather aggressively. <clears throat> Alright, so while they're collecting... See the 675 jobs or whatever? There's 54 idle people. And they're not picking up the delivery jobs. New villager was born. Now there's 62 idle people. Population of 122. I don't think we need to pick anybody else up. Did I just see a reason? Oh no, it was a harpoon boat. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got that. Let's see what else we got out here. This is a drifting resource. We're sailing off into the dark. Da, 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 da. The intrepid sailors. Push forward along across the oceans. Oh, what's this? More drifting resources. And driftwood piles, drifting resources. Yeah. <clears throat> we run out of wood really, really fast. We run out of junk really, really fast with our current build. It's unfortunate. Uh, driftwood is going to be over there. Slow down. One in. Oh, almost got him. One, two, three. Nice. Look how fast they chew through the resources left. Chunk, chunk, chunk. Um, <laughs> Gabriel ate improperly prepared puffer fish. Death. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Uh, this drift resource looks like it's about to drift up onto our boat. But we're not drifting. Look. It actually moves in relation to us. Oh, it just drifted up. I wasn't moving. Huh. Interesting. I've never never noticed that it does that before. What is that? Is that that? No, I thought it was a long boat. It's just the darkness in the water. Okay, we're back this way. We're like bouncing across like a speedboat here. This is crazy. 48.4 masses and we've got enough boat, enough motors to effectively power them at 80. So, oh my goodness, but look at our fuel. <laughs> That's bad. Um, why'd you all stop? Don't, don't all stop. Uh, underwater peak. Must have been dudes not making it there. There we go. Perfect parking spot. Alright, I gotta shut these, some of these off, because we have just chewed through half of our fuel in that amount of time. We can't sail endlessly off in all directions. Maybe we can row. Uh, so we get eight guards. Um, auto defend your city. Current amount of guards. Total number of guards. Uh, okay, I'm I'm feeling like we like drifted away from society here. <laughs> we have a distinct lack of like other villages, other floating places. School of fish. Do we need them? No, we have 231 fish. I think we're okay for now. Let's not double back for that. Seems un inefficient. Unnecessary. Let's find somebody to beat up. We haven't done that yet, right? Are we done there? Are we just about done? Come on, guys. Not the harpoon tower. The the resource. Oh, oh, oh. Got it. Almost had it. Oh, see? This is the part I don't like. The clickability of these resources underneath you. It's really awkward. Uh, I agree. To send debris and precious dirt. 
<laughs> like it. <clears throat> That's fantastic. That is plastic. Good. Uh, underwater peaks depleted. Yo! Um, we have two motors going. Let's go down to one. Underwater peak, underwater peak, trash pile. No, there's plastic in the trash pile. We do have a lot of plastic now all of a sudden. I wasn't watching that. We don't have much junk though. That's fine. Driftwood, driftwood. We can set limits. That's something I haven't done yet. But you can set resource limits and say, okay, so metal, put a limit of say 200 on. Then they'll leave the scrap if that reaches that point. And then as well as the plastics, you could say do 200 plastics. So they'll only make more plastics at the recycler if the uh, if the number is below that. That that seems to make sense to me. Um, I guess we could do same sort of thing here, but it's kind of not necessary. Do 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 do. Yeah, that's we have fifteen hundred storage capacity right now, so we're okay for a while. Uh, wouldn't storm incoming? Whoa, it hit already. Engines on. Where's the storm? It's coming that way. Get out! Get out the way! We can sail faster than the wind. Da, 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 da. First time we'll actually be able to dodge the storm, I think. Turn into it, boys. Paddle hard. We're not. We're not rowing at all. We're seriously running on just engines. That's impressive. Backwards, diagonally to the paddle wheels, but don't tell anybody. What? 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 What, what do we stop for? You guys just all went for coffee or what? You did. You just all walked away from the boat. You scary, creepy dudes. All right, that's good. We made it out alive, though. Uh, the driftwood is super valuable because we're always out of wood. That's definitely a balance issue. We need more resor certain certain resources that are not being produced at quite a good. Whoa, dude! Quite a good enough rate. You done, Storm? You done pretending to taunt me? I'm too fast for you. Wait a second, where do we... Where's those resources? Where are you? There was something... There we go. They're collecting now. Oh, this is one of the hard ones to get. Yeah, you, I don't think we can even... This is a really small drift... Oh, it's a driftwood pile. Duh, Drake. Duh! All three right there. I was thinking it needed the foragers, too. But no! Ah, Clara went swimming with the sharks. How'd that turn out for you, Cla Clara? Clara. Never mind. She's gone. All right, what else we got? More survivors. Mm, oh, what's that? Oh, that's just that's just stuff. Or is it? Is that something worth looking at? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. Destroyed ship that was hard to see until I went close enough. Hmm, a trading post. Hmm, more survivors. Hmm, more survivors. Since we have so many just sitting around doing nothing, let's go get more of them. Uh, driftwood. <clears throat> Always want the driftwood. It's like we blow through this stuff in no time. It's because these guys and, and, and these guys all... Ooh, 279 water. I think we've solved their water problems. <laughs> okay, let's just shut them off. Nope, did that wrong. I didn't mean to stop the bakery. That's the opposite of what I wanted to do. Where's that driftwood? Why do you keep stopping? Is it? Are we running out of fuel? Oh, we are totally out of fuel. Pretty much out of fuel. So they're. I see what they're doing. They're 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 stopping because we don't have enough fuel distilled. Ah, ah, boy McBoy face, buoy McBuoy face, if you want to pronounce it that way. All right. You. We need you. We need you, school of fish and kelpiness. Not really. But we're on the way, so we might as well... Uh, we don't want any more kelp, really. We are low on bread, still. I think we do need another baker. Because we always have extra fuel. So I think we're going to make another baker. Where do we put him? Can he snuggle in right there? Can you snuggle in there, mister? No, probably not. Uh, you're too far out there. A mm, little too big in the girthiness. Um, how about up here? 
Where is my... What the heck? Where are the lamp posts? So confusing. They've got two of them. That's That's been my, my go-to on learn to know how to and where to place things. That's... I'm, I'm confused and heartbroken, guys. They ruined everything for me. Why things have to change? Uh, trash piles, trash pile. Boy McBoyer and Moray's rest. Wait a second. I feel like an early episode we talked with these same fellows before. They had nothing useful to trade for us, but I feel like we we're coming back and we we're like, yeah, how you like me now? My, my little ship's not little no more. Now I could probably trade both of you at once. I'm so huge. It just feels big, okay? Feels like a very big boat. Barge. City. City on the waves. <clears throat> can we, can we, like, finish fishing, please? Yeah, it's not, not got anything else. It's not having a heck of a time collecting. Oh, hey, it's empty now. Boy McBoyface. Um, what? Oh! Look at that, the yellow icon. That would indicate that it has reached our limit. Aha! A previously defined limit. Um. Alright, let's see if we can get here. Move any move. Mm hmm. What does Boy McBoyface have to say? A small stationary trading facility. Um, he wants blubber, so do we all. He wants fish, we have a bazillion of them. Well, we don't now, we have lots though. He wants wood, I want wood. You can't have my wood. I want whales. No, there's only nine parts. It's not, unfortunately, not nine whales. That's nine pieces of whale. What do I want to buy from him? Well, let's buy all his bread, because we're rich now. So that's how we roll. Uh, we'll take, do we take the blubber? No, that's going to be super expensive now. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was all ten. <laughs> I was like, that's expensive. They're 400 apiece. No, that's... Never mind. Just Drake being Drake. Okay. Junk. Do we need more junk? We have a shortage of junk. We craft all our junk into something else. Um, that's about it. What are we going to trade them for that? Let's say a bit of fish. Bring it down to 100. Nice round numbers. Not what we're giving him. That's not a round number. I know how numbers work, I think. No. Apparently not. Apparently I'm not balancing the numbers very good. There, there. And, oh, come on, dude. Really? One. One? Confounded. We'll give you one piece of metal. Oh, that's so expensive. He wants the metal. That's why it's so expensive. Mmm, dirt. Oh, wait. If he wants the metal, he's going to give us premium for it. Why don't we give him metal? That seems better. And there. Good. Confirm trade. Aha. Let's get over here and grab this driftwood. Let's actually get out of here because we have to uh, put in a cut. I will be back tomorrow, and I think our our next missions are going to have to be uh, refocused. Yes, that's it. We will refocus on the new aggressive mentality. We need to... Purge the waters of those who will who are trying to keep things from us. Clearly, people are out there conspiring to keep things away from us. And we need to do something about it. We haven't seen combat in the game yet. In fact, I don't think we've even had a pirate visit us. Mind you, the pirates are like, Oh, dude, stay away from that one. He's like an armed merchant. So, we don't want to get near him. Uh, but, we're going to do that next episode. Thank you so much for joining me. We've survived a storm. Big, fat ship. It's got lots of goodies and lots of production. And uh, I think things are relatively well balanced now. So let me know if you have any suggestions, hints, tips, and all that jazz. Backseat Gaming is always welcome in the comments below. Thank you all. Hit the like button if you are enjoying it. And we will see you in game.